what's going on guys sorry this video takes place kind of in a weird spot but uh i have gotten a, a brake booster practically almost out and uh kind of wanted to make a video and i was already halfway into it and i'm underneath here and it's a pain in the ass to get underneath here so i figured i'd just pull out my phone and make a quick video on it um, what I'm going to show you basically is how to uh, remove and install a brake booster on a 96 Chevy Silverado. So with no further ado, we'll get right at it. All right. So underneath the steering wheel where the brake pedal is, um, you'll kind of lay down underneath here. You'll find the brake pedal, which is right here. Um, you'll follow the brake pedal up and it'll come to a rod. It connects to a rod. Let me get some light in there. Connects to a rod, which is right there. And that is the brake booster right there. That long rod that comes out is part of it. Um, there's four bolts that hold this on. There's one right there, one up there, or nuts, and two opposite of that. There's one right there and one right there. So, what you go ahead and do is you take a 15 millimeter long socket on a 3 8 ratchet and you're gonna stick that up there and kind of fight with minimal space and slowly but surely pull off all those nuts. I've got one left and it's about done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and then show you what's next. All right, so. The booster is held on by this little clip. Um, it has a little washer that goes over a rod and then that clip goes on the other side with a sensor. And how you take this clip off, if you look real close, um, you can see right here where my thumbnail is, you kind of bend these tabs up and then it'll slide off of the rod and then you can bend it back and reuse it. So. Um, that was the clip, the mechanism that holds it to the brake pedal that I was kind of talking about. And holds it under tension so there's no slop. That's what these little pieces are right here, where my thumb is. So, just wanted to show you that and kind of how it comes off. You don't have to mess with the actual washer portion of it. It's just this part right here that you kind of make an oblong and then it pops right off. And then you can squeeze it back together and reuse it like that so figured I'd show that all right now to the outside all right now that I've gotten those bolts out what you basically do is you go ahead and uh, take the two bolts that hold the master cylinder on to the actual brake booster uh, they're also 15 millimeter once you take those off then you can pull this back off of the rod then there's a vacuum line right here that has to be unplugged and you just kind of pull that right out of there it's pretty easy and uh, once you pull that out you're pretty much home free i'll show you what it looks like when i get it out there it is my friends the long awaited removal of the brake booster man it's seen its better days that's for sure God, it's so nice to have this thing out. I've been trying to get this thing out for a while. There it is. Old one versus the new one. Go ahead and put the new one in. I'll go ahead and uh, end this video for now and make it kind of short so that it, you know, doesn't take too long to upload, but I'll go ahead and make a part three video installation um, and once we're out on the road and driving it. So thanks for stopping in, guys. If you haven't seen any of my videos, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Tell your friends about it. Have a good day.